Hello everyone. Uh, <clears throat> as this is a Seta Corsa weekend, let's call it that way, there was a Seta Corsa race yesterday, which was very uh, eventful for me. There was, there's going to be another race on Monday, uh, which I hope so will be very interesting as we will be driving a Mazda MX-5 cup car at Norschleife. So amazing truck, a long truck, hard truck and a great car, <clears throat> which feels really well when driving. Uh, this is going also to be a start of the a new season so that Monday race will be for points. So quite an important event. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be interesting, eventful for many drivers. We'll see how it goes on Monday. I won't be training for it today, I think. Uh, I did a few laps already. I need to work on consistency, I guess. I'll probably be doing it tomorrow. Today I want to renew my road to platinum, which is me trying to get a platinum trophy in Assetto Corsa, which definitely is not going to be easy because I don't know how to drift. Uh, that's something I have to learn and I'm not going to touch it for a very long time, but there's plenty more to do at Assetto Corsa besides the drift. And one of the things to do for the platinum is to go for the career. Uh, <clears throat> I don't even remember where I left it. It was some time ago when, when was the last time I was uh, doing the career. Uh, current, Novice Series 3. Events completed 3 of 5. Let's see what we have there. So we've completed a time attack, a quick race at Imola, another quick race on Vallelunga. If I pronounce it correctly, apologies if, if I don't. And then we have uh, another quick race. Uh, again, it's KTM Expo R at Nürburgring Sprint, which I'll be doing today. Uh, well, I don't know what difficulty to choose from. Uh, I won't be going alien. I'll be choosing alien where I have to choose alien, which is in some of the special events, but not in the courier. I don't want to spend too much time on it. I just want to go through it. Uh, I think I'll just go medium. Medium is sounds like a good way not to spending too much time training for those events, but just having fun racing. Automatic gearbox off, automatic clutch on. I'm using paddles, no point of having a uh, manual clutch here. Uh, I don't have a shifter at the moment, so that's the reason I'm looking to buy one from Fanatec soon. Flip, ideal racing line. Well, everything will be realistic, so we have to add the mechanical damage. Here we go, 100%. Tire wear on, tire blankets, uh, we keep them on. Doesn't matter that much, fuel consumption on. Okay, it's uh, it's realistic. Let's start, let's see <clears throat> how it goes. KTM Expo. I haven't been dri I haven't been driving this car. Uh, I haven't been driven this car on this truck. So you know the braking points and stuff like that are mystery for me. So I'm definitely not going to do it at the first go. It will take some time to learn the truck and the car. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need that much fuel, keep it that way. Uh, I don't think I can change that, semi-slicks. Uh, I won't be changing anything at the moment, I have no idea how the car behaves on this truck. So I'll just take it as it is, with a bit less fuel, and I'll just give it a try. We could go to practice, but uh, what's the point? I think this is the best way to practice, just drive, fail, restart, drive, fail, restart. <laughs> My wheel is a little bit uh, decalibrated, so I'm just going to quickly calibrate it. There we go. Yeah, that's good now. I locked the wheels there a little bit. I was driving Maserati yesterday, the, the big SUV, so completely different car. 
someone on the left. But I will head inside on the next turn. Let's go the third gear here. Is it sprint? I don't remember. It is. Not the most efficient, not the most efficient way of uh, negotiating a turn. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. so I'll, I won't be restarting straight away. I'm actually going to use the time I have to practice, practice the car in the truck, learn the brake points, and see how it goes. Uh, the more time I spend driving on it, the quicker I'm going to learn it. I'm going to restart and I'll give it another try. So, here it is. Here it is. Restart, yes, and now we'll try. Okay, this 
card itself seem to be quite good. The breaking point. Oh, I'm going to use that opportunity. Only for laps, I have to get any opportunity they give me. I think I will get more than just one opportunity somewhere on the last lap. 
if at all. We'll see. I improved 139.1, not too bad. I could have changed the pressure for the front tires, they're quite cold. Keep the higher difficulties for the special events where you have to race alien. <coughs> Get the gold. And here I just want to have fun. And yes, racing AI at the alien level is not necessarily a definition of fun for me. It can be a struggle. for all the other to finish before we are awarded the gold medal for that one and we will move to the I think the last one of the novice three okay it's completed And what's the last one? It is a quick race at Imola. So, there was Imola already. That was the first quick race. The difference is, here we were racing against KTM Expo R, while we also were in the KTM Expo R. In this quick race, we are still in a KTM Expo R, but we have a different type of opponents. And uh, I guess it will be harder, I don't know. I'm going to keep it medium. It went well in Nürburgring. Uh, we'll see what kind of opponents and if they are better in the other cars than in the KTM or not. I like Imola. It's a really nice truck. I like the change of uh, elevation. It just any truck which has a nice elevation change is just so much better than a flat trucks like Silverstone. Silverstone is boring. Uh, I've been there a few times, I played it, raced it in the game. Silverstone is a boring race truck. But the S's are nice, they quick, quick turns, but generally, yeah. There are, there are so many better race trucks all over the world. Um, Circuits of the Americas better, Imola's better, Sa Spa, Spa is just such a great truck. We're going to do the same thing as last time, so let's reduce the fuel, but I will reduce a bit more. And here we go, 12. I'm not changing anything else, and I'm just going to drive. Again, four laps, eight opponents, so we can see, I can see Lotus. Oh, there are two types of Lotus. That was a great start, wasn't it?
played a lot to uh, what's called 7 something or 7 11, I don't remember what it's called. The other one, not the Exige or whatever it is. It's faster, it's overtaking them, and I guess it will be chasing me soon. Yeah, just behind me. And the thing is, even though I uh, raced Expo on Imola, it was some time ago, and I don't remember the brake marks and stuff like that. Just to say, I'm not completely novice to that car on that truck, but I'm definitely not fast. And I don't want to take an unnecessary risk, saying as I'm first, I just want to win that. <coughs> so we'll see how it goes. Just a little bit. I 
was still the fastest lap, I guess. So now I can use the distance I pulled on the last lap to drive this lap carefully. I just finished this off. Not taking unnecessary risk. Done with novice free. We have to wait for all of them to pass the finish line. I really hope that some of the later races um, are much longer and they have more opponents. It would be nice to see some uh, qualification as well for them. Starting from the from the last place, every single race uh, feels like an arcade game. You know, like Need for Speed, when you're starting last and you've got three laps to finish and overtake everyone. It's, uh, I don't like it. I like the racing weekend, like Project Cars does it. Uh, you sign the contract, you're there for the whole year uh, with one team and you do the practice, you do the qualification and you do the race and, and the races are long, like real life. It feels so good. I mean, LMP, driving LMP2 for six hours, that's what I love. Okay, we're done with this one. First place, gold medal, and we are moving to. Actually, I don't know what we're moving to. Is it Novice 4? Is it... Yeah, it's Novice 4. So we'll be moving to Novice 4. I can see Lotus there. Single events Lotus Elise SC time attack at a Silverstone National. Um... Yeah, why not? We have to do it anyway, right? I think there is a separate achievement for uh, doing doing a 10 laps, but is it in Time Attack or is it in another event? Time Attack is, I think, to reach... I don't remember what's Time Attack. One is where you have to get points. This is for the points, so I think this is the Time Attack, yeah. So you need to do 10 laps in there. How to do it? Uh, something to think about. Uh, yeah, I don't want. I won't need 30 liters for a time attack. Top of that, uh, what's the other one? Slicks. Okay, drive, 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 drive. Silverstone National, they said, right? First lap, we'll do kind of a slow lap. It's a tactic, so the tactic is to do the first lap slowly to get kind of a crappy time, right? Something which will be easy to improve on. And then the next lap will be a faster lap, which means 
I'll improve my previous lap, which means I get more points. And then every neck, every other lap should be quicker than the previous one to get more and more points. Of course, we have to look at the time. We don't want to run out of it. So you see, there's little points. I was driving poorly. I got only 48 points. I need two and a half thousand. But that may be also a way to the 10 laps achievement. I have to think about this. Uh, I'm guessing on such a short track there will be just two points where they will be adding the time. That was the first point and the finish line will be the second point. So I want to burn as much time as possible before getting there, driving slowly. I cannot stop. If I stop I think I'll be getting my, uh, minus points. So here we go and then we start another lap, right? So we are 2.4 seconds weaker now. Let's keep like maybe around one second, right? Remembering to keep that uh, enough time left to do the two and a half thousand points. But we'll see what will we get. Or what we will get. Um, once we will have around one between one and two seconds advantage. The time is running away. One point seven six hundred seventy-four. Significantly more than on the previous one, right? Because we improved. And I was driving super slow. So you don't have to be the fastest driver in the world to do those time attacks. You need to be smart about it. I think it's a pure design. It doesn't encourage a fast driving every single lap. It encourages you to be smart about how you drive these laps and how you can manage your time on them. I have way too much uh, delta. I cannot stop, but I also don't want to burn for that time, right? 804 points, almost standing there. I'm almost done, and this is my what, second lap. The delta is now almost a second, oh, maybe half, but that's fine. That's the delta I want. As long as I don't run, don't run out of time, I should be perfectly fine doing this. Should actually a guide how to do a time attack, right? Maybe I will record it one single event separately, or cut the movie somehow and put it on YouTube as a guide to time attacking as the Corsa. Two point. Yeah, I was. I was getting short of time. Still, almost 800 points, which just a little bit more than a one second delta. I'm already on gold, two and a half thousand. Well, I, I definitely want the delta on plus, not on minus. I know I was slowing down here. Here we go, 800 points. On three laps. We definitely go one now. Let's burn some fuel. One point seven seconds, twenty seconds to burn. As long as I have at least one second at the end of the checkpoint and the line of the checkpoint. There we go, I understand how the points. Of 
course they're giving me less and less time. So doing a 10, 10 laps, I don't think it will be possible at this attempt. I would have to strategize it better. Probably leaving a second or even less below second every single time I'm crossing this checkpoint. Or every checkpoint. Try to do ten laps. I don't know if I can do it. Eight, seven, six, five. Maybe it'll be better to do it on the longer track. I don't know. This is the first time I'm actually attempting the 10 laps time attack. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I went to achievements, so uh, I found it to be there. That's one of the requirements. Okay, this is we are on 
when if we finish this one successfully. I think I'll be really short on time for the last two laps. 20 seconds should be enough to finish this lap. sure there are definitely people who, who know how to do it. Uh, probably there are guides there already. I don't know, but I'll just make one anyway. Uh, cool. Really happy with this outcome. Quick race. Uh, Lotus XH 240R stage 3. So I guess it's upgraded, right? If it's stage 3 in Aztec. The same track. Okay, at least we know where we're racing. Uh, I try hard. Those mediums on the previous were just too easy. Didn't really enjoy it that much. Uh, I kind of know the truck to car to truck combination now. So maybe the hard is doable. Without further training, I really don't want to spend too much time on this. Maybe if there were 48 hours in a day. Fuel, fuel. The lighter, the better, right? The lighter, the better. Let's go 10. I'm assuming those are. This is a four lap race. A six lap race. Okay, this is a six lap race. And I'm positioned. Wow, I'm not, I'm not the last one. Amazing. I feel honored. Oh, 
Wrong gear, wrong gear. Such a mistake. I said I know the car's truck combination, but maybe I don't. What is he doing? He went really fast there, and why? Really understeer. 
and I'm not looking the wheel, so it feels quite strange. I would hope it would behave better in turning. Uh, the front becomes heavier around one minute, one second with none, which is yeah, then better than ah, oh, it was it was lap six. So I would expect it to become. You know, better to control on their braking. Yeah, the front becomes heavier. There's more pressure on those front wheels. They should have better, uh, or if not even a third. But it's a metal. <laughs> um, cool. I'm t going to take a break now because there is a Formula One practice free in TV, and I want to watch it. So I thank you all for watching, and I'll be back to continue my road to platinum. Uh, probably later tomorrow i don't know we will see how it goes uh thanks for thanks for watching it was a pleasure and see you next time